Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Watt Single Track. And today we are going to be going over pads um, and bumper systems that I like to run on my wheel. So, I'm going to first start out with obviously, this is the Bugotti Master. Uh, I want to start out with the bumper system. This is the Clark pads bumper system it is a three-piece fairing kit so you have one piece on each side and then it does a excellent job of providing protection for the back of the batteries just in case the wheel is to fall back here nothing can hit um, and this gives it a lot of buffer zone um, so I'm really a huge supporter and love this product um, from Chris over at Clark pads um, and it also has this front nose piece with these two big knobs on it. And the purpose of those is twofold. Uh, one, it acts as a bumper for when it crashes and hits something on the trail. And two is it acts like a kickstand. So you can put it down on the nose and it works really well. The wheel's not going to tip over. Um, really, really good product. Uh, so got nothing but good things to say about the Clark bumper system from Clark pads and highly recommend you get one if you are running, uh, the Bugotti master. And then I will move on to my thing, uh, my next thing, which is the, uh, type of pads that I like to run for trail riding in particular. Um, so I've tried a lot of different pads that are out on the market. I have tried the Grizzly pads. I've tried Clark pads. Uh, I've tried the CPX pads. I've tried quite a few different brands of people's 3D printed pads. And what I've turned out to like the most is these pads from Kai pads. I have the older set here. Um, these have been slightly modified. I cut the top of them for a different purpose. Um, but these are the newest version. And what makes these pads unique from all the other pads out on the market is a few different things. Um, the primary thing is you will notice there are slits right here in the pad. So if I pull this out, you can see the pad is only attached down here and down here and so what that does is when you are riding and you hit a bump this arm is able to flex forward and back so that you don't instantly transfer the torque and then the same thing here on the brake pad when you lean into the brakes it goes like that and what that does is this flexes as you're applying braking and it acts kind of like a suspension system for your legs on on your pads for torquing the wheel. So I think that's a really crucial and uh, important thing for trail riding um, because it, it's really easy to hit a unexpected bump and over torque the pads. So that part, it, it's really the most unique part that makes these pads different from the rest. Um, there's a few other things, but that is the primary factor. Uh, and then I will go on to the next thing that I really like about these pads is you can kind of see, you see the cup, how this cups, it's not flat. Every other pad out on the market, this is flat. Um, these pads cup, so they have a cupping right here. And what that does is when your foot is in there, that cups over the top of your shoe and really helps to uh, once you wedge your foot in, you can't, your shoe doesn't want to slide out because the cup right here. And that really makes a huge difference for uh, keeping you locked in on the trails. So, and these, these new ones are significantly larger. Um, these were the, the older ones. So if I hold them side by side, you can clearly see the difference. Um, these new ones are quite a bit larger. Um, so they're bigger that way. They're way deeper. And uh, 
they they look really really cool um and they they have a few things in them like i talked about the cupping the flexible arms um how this part doesn't go up so high because this can be a, a point especially on like a smaller wheel like a rs that on other pads my shin starts to hurt because it hits on the, the piece right there um so I, I like how he kept this low profile right there um and then they do have a split in them if you want to split it up and run it as a two-piece pad but they are designed for a one-piece pad if you are looking for that extra strength and not being able to move the pad around because when i run a two-piece bikini pad setup i have a i call it a bikini pad setup because you're running a two-piece i'm running the fat girl setup with one piece but it works the best and it's a lot harder to accidentally push the pad off in a over torque scenario on the trails so just want to go over again the clark three-piece fairing system highly recommend it i think it's an absolute must for the master and i'm looking forward to whatever else clark comes out with for maybe replacing the top piece and the bottom piece i think he's going to work on that um, i'm not sure so hopefully we see that and uh, definitely looking forward to these new kai pads and i like that the the clark system is big enough so you can run any pad you want so you don't necessarily have to run his pads but his bumper system works great so just want to thank you guys for giving me a few minutes to go over uh, the pad and bumper protection i use on my wheel have a good one